Welcome back, Math Grizz. Today, we will multiply by the factor one. One times zero equals zero. We need one group with zero inside of the group, so we know the product is zero. One times one equals one. We need one group with one flower inside of the group, which gives us one. One times two equals two. We need one group with two inside of the group, so we know the product is two. One times three means one group with three flowers inside of the group, which gives us the product three. One times four equals four. We need one group with four flowers inside of the group, so we know that one times four equals four. One times five equals five. We need one group with five flowers inside of the group, which gives us the product five. One times six means one group with six flowers inside of the group. We know that one times six equals six. One times seven means one group of seven. One group with seven flowers gives us seven. One times eight means one group with eight flowers inside of the group. We know one times eight equals eight. One times nine means one group of nine. We have one group with nine flowers inside. We know the product is nine. One times 10 means one group with 10 flowers inside of the group. So we know that one times 10 equals 10. One times 11 means one group with 11 flowers inside. We know the product of one and 11 is 11. One times 12 means one group with 12 flowers inside of each group. 1 times 12 equals 12. The identity property of multiplication states that any factor or number multiplied by 1 equals that other factor. For example, 1 times 2 equals 2. We know the product is 2 because 1 times any number equals that other number. <laughs>